just when you thought you'd seen all a game had to offer, in comes something out of your worst nightmares to give you the heart attack of your life. A video game without secrets is like a celebrations tin without those Maltese ones that everyone fights over. You may have had the story mode done and dusted ages ago, but does that mean the game is over? More often than not, hell no. I'm Jess from What Culture, and we're going over 10 of the creepiest video game monsters you totally missed. Number 10, Starro the Conqueror, Batman Arkham Knight. The largest of Batman Arkham Knight's DLC expansions, A Matter of Family, is set on an oil rig way out to sea that was converted into a theme park and then abandoned. Is that not creepy enough? You'll find the answer to that one only if you're the most thorough of explorers. An extremely hard to see grate underneath the locked central building takes you into a secret room, pitch black save for two glass tanks in the far wall. And in one of those tanks is something you never expected to find in a million years the mind-controlling alien Starro. Pressed right up against the glass, his one giant eye appears to follow you. And if you listen closely, a wheezing static-like sound can be heard, which may or may not be a result of his psychic abilities. Detective Vision gives you a slightly better look at his unsettling form, but otherwise the classic DC foe is just there to creep you the hell out. And creep us out it did. Number 9. Pagan Tree – Dark Souls 2 – Crown of the Sunken King in a series famous for its fragmented lore and minimalist story, there was always bound to be a creature or two out there that we simply can't explain. Though most of the game's beasties aren't shy about coming right up to you and biting your corneas out, this one requires some serious sleuthing on your part to even get a glimpse of. The wiki refers to it as the Pagan Tree, but what it is exactly isn't all that clear. Resembling a kind of gnarled green stump with eyes that follow you independently around the room, the being appears to be sentient, as it doesn't attack you when you go near it. A hidden switch in the Crown of the Sunken King DLC raises a platform that takes you right into the tree's solitary cave. Hitting it three times will kill it off for the rest of the playthrough. But what's most curious is that by hitting it with a whip-class weapon, light will burst out all around it, fully repairing all of your equipment. So then, the Pagan Tree is actually quite a useful find if you're running low on durability, but that doesn't make it any less creepy. Number 8. The Weeping Angels – The Witcher 3 – Wild Hunt Whether you're a fan of Doctor Who or not, you'll most likely have heard of the Weeping Angels, which are, without a doubt, among the Revival series' most terrifying villains. Known as the Lonely Assassins, these aliens are biologically programmed to turn to stone whenever any living thing looks upon them. They're also lightning fast, however, and all it takes is a blink for them to catch up to their helpless prey. The Witcher 3 pays homage to these creatures in spectacularly chilling fashion. In a cemetery just outside the town of Lindenvale is a small chapel, and you'll notice immediately the two unassuming statues standing either side of it. After entering and exiting the building, the statues have moved. They're now in the middle of the grass, looking straight at you. Go a little further away, then look back and you'll see they've turned around again, their stone eyes locked on you. Thankfully, that's as far as the easter egg goes. They're not about to send you back in time like the real things. But seeing these angels seemingly come to life was certainly a shock you weren't prepared for. Number 7. Labyrinth Mole – Bloodborne Some of Bloodborne's best kept secrets are housed within the Chalice Dungeons optional underground tombs that feature completely unique enemies and bosses away from the main story. The root chalices in particular, being procedurally generated, add dozens of hours to one's playthrough. And although the repetitive grind isn't for everyone, even the most explored of tomb prospectors might never have come across one of the dungeon's nastiest denizens. Known as the Labyrinth Mole, this creature is extremely rare, with players even sharing specific dungeons online just so others can take a look at it. Its main shape is little more than a long fleshy sack with probing tendrils and a mouth that can move to either end of its body, but do not underestimate its ability to shred you up good. One gross animation has your character devoured by one end of the mole and then forced through its body and out the other end. If that doesn't give you the creeps, I don't know what will. So there you go, some incentive at last to give the Chalice Dungeons another chance. Number 6. Zombie Mannequins – Call of Duty Black Ops 4 Zombies mode has been a staple of the Call of Duty franchise ever since World at War's original Nazi incarnations in 2008 took the world by storm. The supplement to the main campaigns has seen numerous changes over the years, and in Black Ops 4, the developers took rather a different tack with the addictive survival gameplay. 
Despite having no single player campaign this time around, Zombies mode is worked in all the same, as a cleverly hidden easter egg in the Nuketown map. If the player shoots off the heads of all the mannequins around the place within two minutes, the turntable in the middle of the map will raise up, and a missile will shoot out of it towards the sky. The explosion it makes rips a hole that hordes of living mannequins fall down from, and from then on, the game plays much like your typical zombies mode. It's a whole other level of creepy though, considering that A, they neither are nor ever were alive, and B, the fact that they come from what looks like a different dimension makes you constantly unsure just what they're capable of. All I can say is good job you're packing enough heat to mow them down in a jiffy. Number 5. Epic Reaper – Gears of War Judgment this entry really requires you to go the extra mile if you want to experience it in its entirety. With a tense battle against one uniquely hellish opponent, however, it's well worth it. You find this devilishly elusive easter egg in the library map of Gears of War Judgment's multiplayer mode. Throwing two grenades up to a ledge behind a hidden bookcase door will cause a spooky old painting to drop down. Above it is a ring of lights, which represents all of the other paintings across the map. Finding these paintings and shooting the little scrap of paper that accompanies each of them will light up these lights, and if you return to the original painting and shoot it, you'll be flung straight into a battle with the aptly named Epic Reaper. It's the fact you barely have time to take in what's going on, coupled with the bizarre nightmare realm you just wound up in, that makes this encounter so ominous. The Reaper is a worthy opponent, and his agile pursuit around the arena is more than a little uncomfortable. Better think twice the next time you go shooting up art in a place of learning. Number 4. Writhing Leviathan – World of Warcraft An in-game world as huge and populous as Azeroth inevitably has the odd secret that most players are unlikely to come across. But not many are quite as terrifying as your run-in with the hideous Writhing Leviathan. In the 2018 Battle for Azeroth expansion is a zone named Volden. And right at the edge of the map, you'll find a secret underwater area, complete with its own bar. Though how drinks work there would be interesting to see. It's not all merriment down there, however, for if you swim to the end of the platform and look down, a huge tentacled mass can be seen in the depths below, staring right at you. Blowing the horn nearby will send it into a frenzy, and it'll flap towards you in a way that stops your fragile heart in a nanosecond. Once you get closer, you'll discover it's completely harmless, but good lord is it ever creepy. At least you won't have to swim back up very far for some much needed Dutch courage. Number 3. Smoke Monster – Just Cause 2 Evidently, the developers of the Just Cause series are big fans of the acclaimed TV series Lost, as many of the games contain a good few references to its unique island setting and supernatural goings-on. And for poor old Rico Rodriguez, it doesn't get any more real than when he comes face to face with the dreaded smoke monster itself. Traveling to a specific island by aeroplane will result in it being shot down by a bolt of lightning, the sequence's first lost reference. Once you're on the island, a number of other blatant references will come your way, and then you'll come across the smoke monster. In Just Cause 2, the monster is just a humanoid man with plumes of smoke billowing out all around him. He can't be killed, and he will relentlessly follow you all around the island. The further this goes on, the creepier it gets, and before long you can't help thinking, what do you want from me? Maybe he's just lonely, but he could do with finding a less terrifying way of expressing it. Number 2. Ghost Girl – Pokemon X and Y of all the game series in the world, would you have ever expected one as famously family-friendly as Pokemon to contain an easter egg capable of scaring the living daylights out of you? Of course you wouldn't. The sprawling Lumio City is a huge playground for your character where exploration is concerned. In a totally normal-looking office building, you take the lift down to the lowest floor. As soon as you step out of the lift, the cheery music stops, the lights flicker, and behind you appears a girl that slowly levitates past you, stopping only to say, no, you're not the one. She disappears, and the upbeat music starts right back up again like nothing had ever happened. But something has happened. You've just been scarred for life. To think Pokemon used to be my happy place. Number 1. Cthulhu – Layers of Fear While you expect to be spooked and or scared to death playing a horror game, there's usually some element of predictability about its formula that prevents you from losing your mind completely. Not in Layers of Fear, my friend. Not in Layers of Fear. By starting up your game on Halloween or by setting your PC state to the 31st of October, a secret room will open, containing a Ouija board on which you can freely key in words. There are dozens of events that trigger when specific words are entered. Everything from Deer to Chaos to Anorphomag will have you quaking in your unprepared boots. However, most of these are nothing compared to what you encounter if you dare type in either God or Cthulhu. 
The head of the Lovecraftian sea devil rises up from the floor, its eyes shining in impenetrable white and its long facial fronds sneaking around the room. Once the head reaches a certain height, the screen will fuzz and flicker, eerily conveying the madness that gazing upon Cthulhu is supposed to herald. If you want to experience all these Ouija events in one go, you do well to save this one till last, if only to spare yourself the trouser change halfway through. And that's it from me! Let me know down in that comment section if you can think of any other great creepy video game monsters some players might have missed. As always, I've been Jess from War Culture. thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you like, you can come say hello to me on my Twitter account where I'm at JessMcDonald, but make sure you stay tuned to us here for plenty more great content.